men's 400 presentation to come, along with the women's 1500. And we'll round off with the men's shot put and women's pole vault. 60 hurdles and 60 flat for men will come tomorrow. Slobodan Frankovic, President of the Local Organising Committee. The President of the Local Organising Committee must be over the moon at the manner in which his event is unfolding thus far. Bronze medalist representing Sweden, Carl Bengström. And I'm sure he'll have a strong handshake for Carl Bengström of Sweden. National indoor record. He's ditched the headband. He looks like a throwback to a 1970s band when he races with the white headband. What a brilliant performance. Not just the global medal, but the national indoor record as well. 45-33. Silver medalist representing the United States of America, Trevor Bassett. Trevor Bassett did his very, very best to try and deny the Trinidadian the fairy tale finish to a very difficult two months, literally throwing himself at the line. More than good enough for a silver. I think he'll be delighted with that performance in the fullness of time. A massive PB indoors, and it bodes oh so well for the summer season to come. Gold medalist and world indoor champion representing Trinidad and Tobago, Jareem Richards. Four years after his great friend and former teammate took bronze in this event in Birmingham, Jareem Richards tastes gold, the first Trinidadian to do so. And even though it can't make up for the heartache of losing Dion Lendor, who is such a big loss to the whole athletics community, especially in Caribbean sprinting. Jareem Richards has honoured his friend in the best way possible. He has taken the world indoor title over 400 metres, the first from his country to do so. I'm sure that rendition of the anthem must have been full of emotion for Jareem Richards. Trinidad, the United States and Sweden sharing that global podium in a brilliant race from all three. Those smiles there on that podium. He's been enjoying their moment. Some really lovely award ceremonies here in the Stark Arena in Belgrade, Serbia. The light shows have been tremendous. We saw these in Doha for the first time at the World Championships out there, and they've really worked here at the World Indoor Championships.